Mama's babies. My life is my canvas. Watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me. Watch me. Create. So one way that you can help your garden plants stay beautiful and help to feed them is by making compost. Composting is said to be like giving vitamins to your garden. It's also a good way to repurpose food waste and turn it into nutrients for your plants. Most of us have heard this before, but Many of us don't realize how easy it actually is to do. And for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to go into all the details, but as a general guideline. There are two main things that you need in order to produce compost. And that is carbon, such as your pine straw, branches, leaves, wood ash, wood chips and nitrogen. That'll be your food waste, your green plant material waste, your lawn clippings, other green leaf plants that's not being used in your garden, even manure. By layering these materials and keeping them in a dark, moist, and preferably warm environment, then guess what? You can make your own compost. All that said, let's get into this compost tea though. I gave you some of the basics related to composting because I wanted to show you one of my favorite benefits, which is the fertilizer that you get from it. Basically, I have my compost tumbler set up here. It is this black bin that you'll see a little bit more clearly in a moment. But underneath, I have a big tub that catches the rainfall whenever it rains and it filters through the compost bin and it just continues to collect in this bin. That in itself is the compost tea, which is basically water that has been steeped by compost. That is what compost tea is. And it has all of the same benefits of compost, but offers a liquid form of fertilizer, which you can go around and spray or pour onto your plants and roots and any method that you would normally use fertilizer. What tends to happen is when it rains and this fills up, like if I'm not regularly using it, the water, it'll just end up being standing water. You know, the compost brewing it and everything is still standing water. So it of course starts to track a lot of insects, including mosquitoes and other insects that lay larvae. So I was trying to figure out a natural way to basically deter the mosquitoes. Um, I have tried two different types of natural, uh, it's like pellets or tablets, I should say rather. It's supposed to be made of more natural ingredients, no harsh chemicals, and you just drop it in the water that you're trying to deter mosquito larvae and other type of larvae from getting into. But I don't know if it's because it's the size or amount of water, but you know, it, it may not be as many mosquito eggs in here if I use those but it definitely is still some so I looked them online and I was able to find this other way to deter mosquitoes from laying their eggs in the water because this water will pretty much always be here so as far as like getting rid of the standing water that wasn't an option like I used the compost um, that's in this bin and I'm constantly making new batches and I also use the compost tea as fertilizer 
for my plants. So what I found that you can use is oil. I use olive oil in the beginning and then I realized like I'm not wasting my good oil. So basically I had probably some type of vegetable oil. But yeah, I just poured that in and you want to pour enough in there so that it covers the top so that it creates a layer as you see here. You see it's like you may or may not be able to see. If I tilt it, you might see a little bit better. But yeah, this whole top portion is full. There's no harsh chemicals in it. And with it creating this layer, the insects don't lay their eggs in it. So I don't know if y'all can see it, but this fly right here just get out because most likely at this point he's probably stuck gonna get dark yeah. yep. he's not moving anymore so. now y'all see how effective it is so yeah i just wanted to share that and i also I to show y'all my new baby If they don't hide as soon as i open this they're gonna quickly go into hiding because they don't like the sun so let's see if i can get through can y'all see my baby Who's gonna tell same thing you say when you see an ugly baby mm -hmm. oh. 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 cat to so jesus Just gonna feed them some. Oh, ended up getting loaded, and we can no longer use them, so they make for perfect food for my young baby. I'm trying to do this with one hand. and natural fruits and vegetables and it's a win-win cycle guys win-win each of this so normally when people add uh, food in the compost bin it's what I have is a tumbler so you know you normally spin it and turn it but I stopped doing that after I saw that I was keeping a pretty good population of worms so as to not you know disrupt them too much um, and honestly it doesn't change anything I mean um, if you just let let it sit there it still does the same job so compost still continues to be made what i want to add here is that as long as you maintain a good healthy balance of carbon materials and nitrogen materials it really doesn't matter as far as how often you spin your tumbler in fact i stopped spinning my tumbler as i mentioned once i saw i had a good amount of worms and I've still been able to produce good quality compost. Now, some may be wondering, why do I have worms in my compost bin? And I wanted to just let you know that the worms actually help break down the vegetation faster. Um, it helps to reduce the odor that normally comes from composting bins and composting areas because of the rotting food. Uh, and they just overall aid in a better quality compost. Now, clarification. What I am so affectionately calling 
my little worm wigglers or wigglies are in fact maggots but um yeah they do the same job plus maggots sound so rude so we just gonna call them my wigglies tree gets bigger and bigger, you want to make the perimeter wider, understanding that the roots are branching out even more. But, um, yeah, yeah, that's the base, and then you want to come in soon after and water so that the compost tea can be dispersed even more. Also, the oil tends to mask the smell of the compost tea. Is my fig tree. She's a young one and um, I had to relocate her because she was growing like in the vegetable patch and I wanted more room to put my vegetables so I put her over here in this corner. She be needing a lot of love. Man, if you don't stop showing me these dumb The woman is clearly not in a state of mind to accept no, the challenge. No, she did that. She wanna be rubbing it all in people's faces. <laughs> like she got her some gray A mm -hmm. organic maggots or not something. Not organic maggots. Anybody no can get them. Like I can go in any dumpster <laughs> and get them. <laughs> I cannot wash them? dishes for a week and get them. <laughs> Everybody know that. Cool. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us again. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified for videos just like this. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.